Some very important XRP news for you guys. Welcome back to the channel. This is where you come for your breaking XRP updates, breaking XRP news, and analysis around XRP from every different angle, every different side of the coin. In this video, I really want to focus in on the SEC potentially appealing in the lawsuit versus Ripple. If the SEC does decide to appeal, what will this mean? Is it likely that the SEC appeals? We're going to weigh in from various experts who've recently spoke on this and give you guys all the detailed information that you need to know right now that will definitely give you some good context and judgments around what's happening with XRP with this lawsuit that is still not fully closed. But obviously, many people believe this is a huge, huge win for XRP. People weighing in on this point as well. We're going to get into that in this video, guys. What I need you to do, though, is smash the like button. Let's get up over 1,000 likes again for the XRP Army. I'm seeing a lot of new people come to the channel thanks to the XRP content. Love you guys. I've been here for a while, but I feel like people are just now finding me. I do come at this from a very unbiased perspective when it comes to XRP. I should say this. I am invested, but I am not an XRP maxi. I'm not somebody who thinks XRP is going to $1,000. I'm a realist, and I give you guys the real hitting, hard-hitting information that you guys need to know, we need to know as investors. So subscribe if you have not already. Fire those Xs up in the chat. Let me know the XRP armies here. Smash the like button, and let's get into this. Now, we're taking a look at the chart first and foremost here. Uh, kind of in a consolidation phase. We're still hanging in there, honestly, compared to the rest of the market. We're down less than 1% compared to a lot of other cryptos uh, in the top 10, down 3, 4, 5, 6%. So XRP hanging in there right now amid all of the um, red in the markets here in the altcoin side of things. But what I really want to talk about is this. Okay. And Coindesk recently just put out this article. What's next? For SEC versus Ripple. While the SEC case against Ripple was decided solidly in Ripple's favor, the takeaways for the rest of the industry, it says, are limited. Now, if you guys remember very recently, uh, this was back on uh, August 7th when we got the big pop here, we got the news that Ripple had to pay $125 million. That was that big purple candle here. Uh, we came up from $0.49 cents and just launched all the way up there to about 65 cents. That is when we got the news that Ripple had to pay $125 million. After finding last year the company had violated federal securities laws with its direct sales of XRP to institutional clients. That was, uh, you know, the lawsuit was partially won last year on the retail side, but we were waiting for this on the institutional side. It's a fraction of the $2 billion the SEC sought for. Uh, and this basically, kind of, sort of, ends the long-running case that began around Christmas. And we're going to unpack that more because I have saw the comments in my most recent videos. They're like, is the case over? Is it? Is it not over? It's kind of wishy-washy. It's kind of weird. It is as long as the SEC doesn't appeal. So let's talk about that because later on in this article, they highlight this. Okay, so the SEC did not say in a recent statement that it would appeal the July 2023 ruling. Uh, ruling. Stuart Alderati, Ripple's chief legal officer, said the ruling not only signals the end of the case, but because the judge continued to reject the SEC's overreach, the judge reminded the SEC there were no allegations of fraud, there are no allegations of market manipulation, no misappropriation of funds, there were no victims. Now, Patrick Daugherty, uh, who heads Foley and Lardner's digital asset practice, told Coindesk via email, both parties lost motions. They may want to appeal. The ruling on secondary trades, which favored Ripple, is perhaps perhaps the most significant. He said it's a key loss for the SEC because it takes the wind out of the SEC sales in other cases where tokens are trading on exchanges, especially if they've been trading there for years. So again, this is kind of the bigger picture here. This is a win for the overall market if this thing continues the way it is. Another attorney who asked not to be named said they could see the SEC appealing that specific portion of the July 2023 ruling, calling it a significant loss for the regulator. So here's what we know about the appeal. And stay with me here 
uh, until the end of the video, guys. I know it's a lot of stuff here, but I want to break this down for you and give you guys a really good understanding of what we've got in front of us here, what the timeline is here, because the SEC has 60 days from August 7th when the $125 million was mentioned. They have 60 days. So we're looking at October 7th, right around that time frame. We have until then for the SEC to potentially appeal. And leading up to that, there's going to be a lot of information here. And this is what we've got so far. And again, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out because we're going to be hitting on this from all different angles for, uh, for the foreseeable future here. But here's what we've got. If the SEC chooses to appeal, or for that matter, if Ripple decides to appeal, rem rem remember here, both sides have the ability to appeal. Uh, if, if either does, it'll have 60 days from the ruling. So we covered that. It would be more difficult for the SEC, though, to try and appeal any of the remedies. Alderati, the Ripple legal chief, said he wouldn't advise an appeal if he was working with the SEC. I think the finality of the judgment, he said, hopefully... People won't be distracted by if the SEC is going to appeal. What happens if they appeal? He said, even if they do appeal, he says, I would just tell everyone, take a deep breath. The attorney Coindesk spoke to said, uh, the attorney Coindesk spoke to said they would put money on the SEC appealing anyway, given the ruling on the secondary transactions is bad precedence for the regulator. They don't want to lose this when it comes to being able to go after other companies. And while the SEC has taken a high profile losses in court, They've taken a few high-profile losses in court. It also had a number of equally high-profile wins, like the library case. I think there's an interesting perception where you talk to people and they're like, oh, the SEC's just taken one loss after the other. And that's not necessarily true because there have been wins in there too, they said. But I do think their strategy of everything as a security, we're seeing major holes in that strategy that clearly doesn't seem sustainable. So even from both sides of the aisle, now keep in mind, Ripple legal chair here, legal chief, Alderati is definitely biased a little bit, but even from the unbiased perspective, they're still seeing the SEC uh, is not going at this necessarily properly. Should the SEC appeal, Ripple, Ald, Ripple's Alderati said the regulator would have a long road given how rarely appeal appeals courts overturn district court judges. While this case so far has been a major win for Ripple, less clear is if it's also providing clarity for the crypto industry at large. And this is something that I had talked about. Now, Christopher Levine, a partner at Withers, said the way court decisions have been coming out are not providing real clarity for the industry. This is what I mean. We don't really know what a security versus commodity is yet. Are we still using the Howey test? What's happening here? The decisions that have come out from the court so far haven't effectively moved the needle. Regulators are telling companies to obey the law. Companies say they're obeying the law, and a court may rule in either direction. But nobody knows what the law freaking is right? That's the big issue. Where does that actually get you? He asked. That's pretty much the status quo. So I guess the temperature in the room right now, even from all sides here, are that XRP is winning and they're winning big right now. Should the SEC decide to appeal, it doesn't necessarily look good for them. Usually these type of things don't get overturned. Appeals usually don't work in these instances historically. So what's going to happen here? over the next 50 some odd days. That's why you need to be subscribed to the channel because this is the information we have right now. We'll continue to develop this story, but this is your important XRP news right now. The temperature in the room right now is very positive for Ripple. Very positive. And will the SEC appeal in the lawsuit versus Ripple? It depends on who you ask, but I think the temperature in the room, the needle, which way that's swaying right now, that is probably toward no right now. But things can change. Things can develop. We'll be here for you to break it, to talk about it, to break it all down. Make sure you are subscribed down below. Check out all the links. If you're interested in trading cryptos, I've got an unbelievable trading indicator called XT Algo. This is my company, guys. You could trade all of the top cryptos using TradingView's platform. This is what's called a script, an indicator that you lay on top of charts uh, it is made by the best of the best in the industry, guys. These prices are slashed by 20%, by the way, when you sign up using the discount code linked down below. And then if you're interested in trading on leverage, that is Margex, guys. Margex, one of the best places to trade on leverage. There's no KYC. You can follow and copy the best traders in the game. 
Links down below. Sign up with me today using Margex for leverage trading. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't hit the like button on your way out, definitely do it. Thousand likes. We want a thousand likes. Give me your thoughts and opinions on all of this down below in the comments and uh, fire up the chat. Let me know you're here. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.